Hey there guys, Robert here, and welcome to episode 946 of Logo History. For this episode, we're going to have a look at Iron Man the film. Let's take a look at the short by this so you don't know what Iron Man is. It is an American superhero film that was released on April 14th, 2008 for Sydney, Australia, and on May 2nd, 2008 for the United States. It is based on the Marvel Comics character of the same name by Stan Lee. It was directed by John Favreau. The screenplay was made by Mark Fergus, Hawk Ostby, Art Markham, and Matt Halloway. It was produced by Avi Arad and Kevin Feige. It stars Robert Downey Jr., Terrence Howard, Jeff Bridges, Gwyneth Paltrow, Leslie Bibb, and Sean Tube. Its cinematographer was Matthew Libatique. It was edited by Dan Leventhal. The music was created by Ramin Jawadi, and it sold $585.8 million at the box office and was released to critical acclaim. And now, without further ado, let's get started. 2006 has a pre-production logo. Uh, we just have the words Iron and Man stuck together and in um, white 3D text. And it's inside a black background. 2006 to 2007 for the pre-release and 2008 as a merchandise logo. Uh, we have uh, Iron Man shield and in front of the shield we have the words Iron and Man in um, red and black gradient text with golden outline. Uh, 2007 to 2008 for the pre-release, uh, we have the words Iron and Man uh, all spaced out and in uh, golden text, and it's inside a black background. Nah, dude, it's actually dark green. And finally, 2008, we just have the words Iron and Man uh, all spaced out and in uh, golden gradient text. And here's uh, an alternate version where the letters are all close together. And here's an alternate version where, like, the where, like, you know, the gradient part of the logo looks really looks really cool. And here's the red version, the version with the Marvel Studios byline, another version with the with the Marvel Studios byline, the version with the 2018 Marvel Studios logo. Uh, and here's the Russian version, the Portuguese version, the Latin Spanish version, and the Romanian version. All right, that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Logo History, and I'll see you tomorrow for a brand new episode. Stay tuned for episode 947, Carfax. Bye for now.